now we're going to honor the most impactful volunteer, advocate, and donor to PSU athletics in the, in the history of our program. Throughout the years, Peter W. Stott has been a tireless advocate of Portland State Athletics during its growth and development to the Division I level. Peter was the university's first $1 million donor for the first enhancement of the Peter W. Stott Center, and I think it had to do with that court that Garen just talked about. Peter also played an integral role in the campaign to get the Stott community field built on the Portland State campus during the late 1990s. More recently, he was the chair of the Viking Pavilion campaign, which included working with the state of Oregon, as well as engaging, o engaging OHSU in a partnership with PSU, and enlisted many of our Portland community leaders to complete the funding on the project. One other major achievement of note, Peter was granted the most, uh, one of the most prestigious national awards called the Horatio Alger Award in, in 2014. He was one of only 763 individuals in the U.S. to receive this award. The award recognizes Peter's hard work and determination to conquer his humble beginnings. Peter will share my sentiment here. I think we owe a huge round of applause to Julie Stott, who's by Peter's side. She has shared a lot of the hard work and, and obviously all in the donations to make this place what it is today. So thank you, Julie, as well. Um, and today is actually not just uh, a big day for that reason. Uh, today actually happens to be Peter and Julie's 22nd wedding anniversary. So congratulations to Peter and Julie. We have some flowers for Julie. And um, we also have a helmet that was promised to Peter quite some time ago. And this isn't a football helmet. This, is, uh, this happens to be the most original Viking helmet you've ever seen. So with that, it is my honor to induct Peter Stott into the 2018 class of the Viking Athletics Hall of Fame. Peter, please come to the stage. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that uh, Tig made it clear why I was up here tonight. If any of you ever golf with me, you know that I'm not getting an athletic award tonight. But I am a big advocate for athletics. Distinguished guests, including my wife, Julie, mother-in-law, Wilma, um, sister, Rosemary, uh, her husband, Doug, our nephew, Greg, our great friend, Mel Hart, and fellow inductees. I thank PSU for this honor and accept it on my behalf, but also for those who helped make all this possible, uh, make the Viking Pavilion the reality that it is today. Some of those folks are here tonight. Uh, I'd like to recognize them. Walt Bowen, a longtime supporter we've heard about, Jerry Newleman and Mike and Jamie Anderson, uh, William Thompson on behalf of David Thompson and Tech Equipment and their family, longtime coach Terry Mariani, David and Kelly Keyes, Scott and Gunda Burns, Mike and Diane McKeel, uh, if I missed anybody, I apologize. So my journey at PSU began 56 years ago. I walked here from north Northeast Portland in 1962. Uh, that probably makes me the second oldest person in the room behind Jerry. But PSU was amazing then. It was four blocks. Uh, there was four buildings, Old Main, which they now call Lincoln Hall, which was a gym, PE, biology labs, chemistry labs and everything else. Then the, the building next to it was called, at the time, called State Hall. That was a half a block building. Then there was a Smith Center, uh, but it wasn't called Smith Center then, but it was a full block. And what is now Newberger uh, was South Park Hall. That was a half block. Shattuck was a operating grade school, and you parked your cars all the way around the park blocks, and you'd go to the hardware store and buy packets of washers to plug the meters instead of using quarters, because they were cheaper. Why am I passionate about Portland State? Simply, it was really the only option I had to go to college, and I want to make sure that that option is available for the next generation. But I also want to make sure that PSU moves forward. It's made great strides the last several years, and we want to continue uh, doing that, and particularly in athletics. Um, in 1997, uh, the university made the first major ask of Julie and I 
to uh, basically refurbish the existing gym, uh, which is now, as of uh, a couple of days ago, the new James C. Stott Memorial Practice Gym. It was my brother Jim who played basketball here for Sharky Nelson in the old days over at Old Main in the basement where the gym was, the old Lincoln High School gym. And uh, sadly, he died of cancer in 2008, but I told him before he did that we were just around the corner from doing a new project at Portland State. Well, I didn't realize it'd be nine years later, but here we are. So uh, we did the gym. Uh, the main reason he needed money was the floor had been sanded so many times it couldn't play on it anymore. So he had to find a new place to play or get the floor uh, replaced. So we helped replace the floor and uh, did some upgrades, which uh, lasted quite a while. Then the second ask was interesting. It's for the stock community field. And the president at the time was Judith Ramele. And she called me up, wanted to see me, so I came up to see her in her office. And she wanted me to fund a 60-yard practice field. And I said, no, I wouldn't do it. Um, I said I would help her, however, uh, fund a 100-yard practice field, which is today the practice field of football, soccer, so on and so forth. Well, I think that was <laughs> the beginning of PSU getting out of the bake sale mentality. And we need to keep that uh, moving along. So for me, it's been a journey in this building for over 10 years, uh, raising the $53 million that uh, uh, Tig talked about. Um, and to raise the money, we had to make this both an academic center and an athletic facility. But I think it turned out great. It's a multi-purpose facility used seven days a week, and so I'm, I'm very proud of that. Um, and the, the facility is world class, but we need more support uh, for our athletic programs. The university can't afford to support the level, the, the, the teams at the levels they should be supported. So we need all of you alums and all of your friends uh, to help do that. So in closing, I'd like to just say that, that um, PSU's come a long ways. Athletics are our university's marquee. They help round out the education for student athletes. And above all, they promote teamwork and getting along with each other. And our country could use a lot of that today. So thank you.